He's the man I turn to for everything. I'm away at college at U of M. I call him twice a day, if not more. Whether I'm stressed or I'm happy, he's the first person I call. I can't function without him. Not having him home, not knowing how he's feeling, not knowing that he's taking the right medication. It's, it's been so unnerving. And knowing that there are hundreds of other people who have been affected, I'm sorry, I am with you. I know what you're feeling. It's the worst feeling I've ever felt. And then looking at my siblings and telling them it's gonna be okay, it's, it's not, it's to not. Church. And they just picked him up and took him out of the home saying, oh, he'll be back tomorrow. But that's not true, he's not here. My children are upset. They couldn't function at school today. This whole week they had finals, they couldn't focus. My husband's done nothing wrong for the past 30 years. He's been an amazing person. For those people that know Sam Hamama, he's done so much for the community. He loves America, he knows nothing but America. Years. He's been working hard, paying his taxes, supporting our family. When they came Sunday morning, we were getting ready to go to church. This is his home, this is our home, and this is everybody's home. Nobody wants to go back to where they're gonna be persecuted. This is, this is who we are right here now. We love this country. We want to stay here. We need, we need you to hear that. This is our home. This is America. This is who we are. We're Americans. We're no longer Iraqis. That's right.